Hey, peoples! <laughs> hey, last time on the Artistic Biker, we did a pinup watercolor. Uh, we did the graphite transfer paper to get the old sketch. We took a we took an old sketch that was this big, blew it up on the computer, and then used graphite paper to transfer it to watercolor paper, and then just watercolor. And we had some fun with that. Uh, looking forward to doing some more of that. This week, however, we're going to do a little uh, figure drawing with pen, a little figure drawing with ink. So uh, let's just uh, close the page there and let's get started. So yeah, it's been tough getting out to go figure drawing. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Riggs, has a has a, a figure drawing lab in the Heights here in Houston, and uh, he had a he has a really nice setup over there. But we we're doing everything virtually, and honestly, I haven't even been doing that because you know the plague has been shutting everything down. But uh, he had a he has a really nice setup, and I look forward to getting back out and doing that. But in the meantime, I've got some other things here that I'm able to do. You know, I can get the wife to pose nude for me, but I can't really set her. Well, I suppose I could. I think YouTube might shut us down if I pose the wife over there. So I've got some other little toys here that I want to I want to show you. First off, I'm going to do some warm-ups with Figurosity. And then I'm going to show you this pose over here. Let me show let me, let me just show you the pose real quick. This is the pose we're going to draw tonight. And while I like this pose, this is this is a really nice pose. Let me show you some of the some of the joys of Figurosity is that you, there's thousands and thousands of poses, and I'm not—he's not paying me for this. I just love this site. There are thousands and thousands of poses that you can choose from, and this one is the one that I'm choosing tonight. But on Figurosity, you can rotate the poses around to any way that you want to, any way you you need them to go, so that you can get a, you know, exactly the pose you're looking for and exactly the way, exactly the light you want to see it in. You can change. I'm going to turn the controls on here. You can change to uh, no coloration whatsoever. You can you can see the musculature if you want to see how the musculature works in that pose, so that you can see you know exactly why the skin has ripples in it like it does. The nude. I'm going to flash over the nude. Let me turn here because the nude is very realistic and lots of things have. Matter of fact, let's zoom way in and move up. Let's move the other way. That way I can show you maybe I can show you. I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube or Facebook or anything like that but the nude is very realistic looking. Uh, if you've ever stripped down the, your sims to see what they look like naked you know they're pixelated. <laughs> anyway, so the, we're going to stick with dress tonight. You can turn, like I said, you can turn the, you can turn them around. You can. Uh, oh, there's one more feature. You can flip them back and forth. <laughs> you can flip them back and forth. You can lock them so that they don't move anymore. So that they, you can't accidentally move them or change. I don't know if you can change. Yeah, once you hit that lock, it stays where it stays where it was. So we're going to turn the lock back off. I'm going to turn her back around into the pose that I had chosen for tonight. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can see her feet. And then I do want to lock it because I don't want to accidentally flip over to the nude while you're watching from this angle. But anyway, that's not the angle. You, you won't see that for the most, of, most of the night. I just wanted to show you what you could do with Figurosity before we move over to the phone where I'm going to show you on the phone how I pull it up and I use it for I use it for the uh, quick poses and then <clears throat> I'm going to get done with that is there a way to show you I've got this I've got this uh, uh, cune, this body cune pose tool that I've got matched I don't know if you can see very well how well you, how well you can see but I took it and I, I tried to match it to that pose. Let's see if we can see it. Let's see if you can see it this way. I tried to match it. You know, when you hold it that way, it's even in the right light. I tried to match it to that pose. So, the joy of this is that it allows me to actually see stuff. I can actually, I can actually see around the edges of it. I can actually see how it's how it uh, 
you know, get a three dimensional shape to actually try to transfer onto the paper versus a versus a virtual shape on the screen. But the bigger the the problem with it is is of course you know it's got these seams. You know you don't. I'm probably going to actually draw those seams tonight. Let's see how do I show you the seams? These things are really cool. I don't know if you've ever played with one. Let me see if I can show you the seams. These things are really cool just to get in a quick pose, maybe even maybe even play around a little bit with some with some poses. Uh, they have them male and female. I bought the I bought two males and two females because I have a set upstairs if I'm if I'm sketching around upstairs and I want to see sometimes for instance you're looking at a draw you're looking at a, at a photograph and you can't really figure out what what's going on there if you can pull that out and you can put it in that pose and you can kind of turn it around and you can say oh okay well I get a better understanding of that you know unless you can get your wife or your husband to pose the same way that's pretty cool too if you can make that happen but uh, anyway I can't do that live on. Can't do that live on YouTube. So I'm going to get started tonight. Though I have Figurosity pulled up on my phone. Oh, I was going to show you this before we get before we get started. I wanted to show you uh, this. These figures. These body coon figures. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can get them for. Uh, $29.99 at Bodycoon, or you can go to Wish.com and you can get them for $6.98 and they're Figma. And that's what I ended up with was the Figma brand because I'm not willing to spend since I, since I got uh, since I got four of them, I didn't want to spend 100, 120 bucks buying them, so I just, you know, I spent 30 bucks <laughs> buying them. And the, for, my, for my purposes, it's, it's going to work out well. Anyway, um, okay, so back to figurosity. So we're going to do some, I don't know, about 10, 30 second poses, and then we'll move to the, and then we'll move to the figure. So I should probably take a potty break, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, where's my go button? I want my female, I want left and right, uh, for the, for our purposes here. 30 seconds. We're doing street level, bird's eye view, worm's eye view, nude, females only. All right, I got my I got my pen ready. I don't want to use my pen. I want to use my brush pen. I'm going to use my I'm going to use my brush pen. That way I can't focus too much on details because I've only got 30 seconds, and I haven't done this in a while. So bear with me. We're gonna. We're, we're gonna push through this because it has been it has been a few days a few a few days since I've done this I probably should have done 20 or so warm-ups before I turn the camera on just so I don't embarrass myself but hey that's what we're here for and well since we're already set for 30 seconds we'll just go we'll just do 10 and when we get to when we get to 10 we'll stop so if, if I go over 10 you know what I should probably <laughs> All right, I want to make sure that I don't go over ten, so I'm going to mark it off. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Nowhere near. There's nowhere near even. One, two, three, four, five. Nowhere near even. But at least I'll know when to stop. <laughs> okay. Go. Do, 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 do. Oh, so it's above. It's above level. So I'm gonna put her head. And I'm gonna put her back. And I'm gonna put her leg and her other leg and her arms coming up here and her other arms coming out here and then her back side is over here. 30 seconds is a long time sometimes. Okay, so here's the 
second one. I'm going to start with her head. I'm going to do her back. And she's got... put entirely too much detail in these for for uh, what do you call these? I can't I remember what these are called. Somebody help me. Talk, Artie. That's why I can't remember what they're called. It's because I'm busy, Artie. It's my story. You don't want too much detail. You just want to get. Uh, want to capture the pose and as few of as, as few of uh, as brush strokes as you can Can't talk, Harding. I don't know how many times you, you're actually allowed to say that, but I might say it a few times. Gestures. That's the word I couldn't think of was gestures. I don't know why I couldn't remember the word gestures, but for some reason the word just wasn't coming to me.
done. Now, I like to, after I've done the gestures, just because I like to do it, where is my water brush? I like to go back with my water brush and do the do some shading on the back side. Now, I've used a different color ink here, so I may not be able to get I may not be able to pick up any ink out of it, so I'm going to use a little Payne's gray just to I just like to add some just to get an idea so that I can see where I thought maybe the light was coming from. Kind of gives it more. It kind of makes it to me. It makes it feel more solid. I mean, I know that's not the point of gestures, but I just like the way it makes them. I just like the way it makes them look. So there's our gestures. All right. So with that, let's set this aside. And I'm going to break this out. Flip this over like this. Right. I'm going to break out. I think I'm going to break out the stage. I think I'm going to break the stage out here. Got this light stage that I made for my for my uh, randomography for my random objects. And I'm gonna put that right there, and that that's a pretty good approximation of where the light's coming from to match what I have on the screen. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a pretty good approximation. So, I'll come back over to this. And I'm using a... I'm going to use a, a Platinum Carbon Ink at Ultra Fine. And then I have a, a Pilot a Fine Tip that I'm going to use for Boulder Lines. Then I'll come back with the, uh, the Pentel Brush Pen to finish up. So, we'll set us a timer for... I don't know, 20 minutes is a long time. Let's set our timer for 10. 20 minutes is a long time for this. So, we'll set our, we'll set our timer for 10 minutes and see how far we get in 10 minutes. And go. Now, you can still you can still start with a gesture. So we're going to put her head. Her head is kind of at this angle. And then her spine is still doing this. Alright, so let's see what we get from here.
right off the bat I can see I've, I've made some errors in placement. But part of that is me trying to figure out anatomy on a toy. <laughs> The anatomy is actually actually pretty good on these things, to tell you the truth. They have a lot more detail. I mean, it's not it's not like obviously it's not like drawing from a live person because it's not it's not a live person for sure. But it's also it's also not quite as good as drawing from a tube because at least the tubes. The tubes have a put a, put forth a conservative effort to the tubes are what I use to draw for my random objects, and their whole thing is trying to be trying to be as realistic as possible. So they're they're pretty cool like that, but this is not. I mean, it's not unrealistic it's just not quite as realistic as a tube but again you know it's, it's just meant to be for to capture poses So, it's not a bad toy. We're not going to go too in-depth on the face, because she doesn't really have much of a face. But, it works out very well if if you can't get out if you can't get around and that's that's the situation we find ourselves in right I mean if you're for instance if you're in a rural setting you know for the longest time my that was my issue was I was in a rural setting so I started looking for ways to to get around that trying to get around the fact that we can't get out to go to our favorite places to draw naked people. Everybody has their favorite places to draw naked people, right? Now, I have a basic lay and I'm going to come back with a thicker pen here.
see my face, you'd see me hold my tongue just right. They are to supermodel, I'm sorry, it's not supermodel, superhero proportions. That is one major flaw with them, is that they are to superhero proportions. So, that's what they're made for, is to, that is what they're made to, is for uh, comic book artists to pose. So they do have that flaw. So the women are very large breasted. It is, but that is one flaw with them for sure. We didn't get very far in our 10 minutes, did we? Let's do it again. I was having fun. <laughs> this is what happens when I start drawing at night. My wife is like, Turn the light off. I'm like, no, I'm drawing. Why couldn't you draw when it was daylight outside? Well, I could draw when it was daylight outside. I did draw when it was daylight outside. And I'm drawing when it's dark outside. It is, seriously, it is 1.21 in the morning. I was supposed to do this live. I said I was going to do this live way early. I had some technical issues that I'm not going to go into right now. But hopefully we can get all that worked out before very long. Because I want to go back to doing the live shows. The kids want to go back to doing the live shows. Well, the son, Junior, wants to go back to doing the live shows. Girl, girl 2 is... She's a teenager now, so she's she doesn't have time for us. <laughs> it's funny how that works, huh? I 
I remember quite distinctly when I didn't have time for my parents. Now they live five minutes away and I'm going to have coffee with them at five o'clock or well, seven o'clock in the morning. Because now I have all the time in the world for them. I want, I want nothing. I want to spend as much time with them as possible. And so now, what, what can I add to that to make that face look female? I don't know. Like I said, this is just kind of a fun way to to uh, to do this since we don't have since we don't currently have access to live models. All right. Now there's. does have a belly button. This is her musculature here. This is the edge of her body. So I'm going to come back through with my finer brush, or with my finer pen rather, and I'm going to add the shading. button. one of those things that I could just go on and on and on with. And I may I may speed this up. I may finish this. I may not I may I may uh, finish this in uh, time lapse. Just because I'm having fun now. I was tired earlier and I didn't think that I was going to get into it.
now that I'm having fun, I kind of want to keep going. I think we should probably wrap it up. You can see it's kind of fun playing with these little these little models. They're not the most they're not the most um, accurate things, like I said, but they are fun to play with. Like I said, I bought the $6 version from Wish. I did not buy the $30 version. I keep making that hand longer every time I do it. Have you noticed? That hand should not be coming down that far. Okay, that's 20 minutes. So, anyway, like I said, this is just this is just a fun way to to uh, get a little figure drawing practice in when you can't when you can't get out anywhere. When you can't Go see live naked people. This works. As a way to get in a little figure practice. Get your eyes going, seeing what seeing what you can actually see. Can't stop now, I'm so close. So anyway, there we go. Just a little bit of figure practice. Let's see if I can show you. Just just a little bit of figure practice with a model, with a toy. Since we can't get out, since we can't get out and see any live people, you can see the setup from this from this direction. You can kind of see the setup that I had going on here, or maybe 
you can see the model that I that I base it off of, and then let's see from this direction, uh, you can you can see I've got the model set up on a little light stage over here that I made. And this is this little light stage. This is uh, this is a box of beer that I I just folded over and taped up with a piece of drawing paper. Put some caps on the bottom of it so it would sit level when I set it out there. So it makes for a nice little light stage to to eliminate everything else around it so that I can take a nice clean picture. Anyway, that's all we've got going on for this week. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I was going to see here real quick what is what's, what's happened there. Next week is a mini. So next week we're going to do a miniature painting uh, on a playing card. So if you tune in Tune in same bat time or same artistic biker time. Ooh, I almost messed that up. Same artistic biker time, same artistic biker channel. We'll be doing a mini next time. So anyway, peace out.